What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade here again with another video for you. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at a comparison of Ledger Live versus the Shapeshift beta platform with Keep Key integration. So stay tuned, you are not going to want to miss this one. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So before I jump into this comparison between Ledger Live and the beta Shapeshift platform and some of what the key differences are when you're deciding how to interface with your crypto, just want to mention I did completely redo my new ebook, Seven Best Ways to Secure Your Crypto, and I updated it for 2021. It's 100% free and it's pinned down in the comments. So go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So some of the key differences I want to sort of explain between the beta.shapeshift.com. And if you're unfamiliar with Shapeshift, this is obviously a company founded by Eric Voorhees, a real OG in crypto, a fantastic guy. And basically this is a platform that now has a lot of hardware wallet integration. So Shapeshift owns KeepKey, which is the native hardware wallet that is primarily used. And it's the hardware wallet that I use on the Shapeshift platform. And some of the key benefits of that, if you haven't touched on my previous videos, is this allows you to trade seamlessly. So if you have a Shapeshift account, you can trade and authorize and sign your private keys for sending and receiving using this platform with an integration. In addition to that, it does, as you can see on my screen now, allow you to pair Trezor and Ledger if you have any of those devi devices as well. So if you do wanna trade and keep your private keys in your possession the entire time, this is a fantastic way to do it. And I use this platform almost every single day, if not every single day. So that's just one of the key, uh, key points here. In a minute, we'll take a look at the Ledger Live and some of the key differences. Now, in this case here, you if you are wanting to trade, you're gonna need to have a Shapeshift account and you're gonna log in. They are doing some promos right now with Fox tokens, which allows you to trade for free, no transaction fees, that kind of thing, uh, which is really cool. So if you like to trade between crypto, but you don't wanna relinquish your private keys and give it to the exchange, this is the perfect solution for that. So that's personally how I do my trading, keep everything on a hardware wallet and hook up to this platform. Now, some of the questions I got in the past were, if I own a keep key, do I have to use Shapeshift or vice versa? This is the platform for you to interface, meaning to send, receive, and manage your crypto, but you don't have to have a Shapeshift account in order to use your keep key. So I don't have to, as it says here, I can sign up or log in. I don't have to log in in order to send or receive my crypto on my keep key. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna log into my Shapeshift account, but I just wanna show you. So in my case here, if we go to pair next to keep key, I check the box and I agree. And I go ahead and connect my device. And it's giving me the pin on my device. So let me punch in my four digit pin. Okay, it's verifying on the device. So I have actually multiple keep key devices. I just like the interface, I like the platform, and I diversify my crypto across multiple hardware wallets. So let's see which hardware wallet I grabbed today. Okay, so on this wallet, I happen to have a little over 2,500 bucks on it today. Some of the assets that you can uh, use here are a lot of your basic ERC20 tokens. There's a lot of new coins and stable coins being added as well. So if you're new to the platform, you definitely want to check it out. They just added Uni, Balancer, a lot of the DeFi coins, and they use a, a DeFi protocol now for utilizing the trade engine, which is super cool. In this particular case, one of the downfalls of this is there is no privacy mode. If we swing over here and look over at the Ledger Live, I do have a privacy mode. So all you can see here is that my portfolio is up 20%, but as you can see, it's kind of starred out which means you can't see my balances and see how much crypto I have, sorry guys. But what I like about this, that's just one key differentiator is if you're, if you're concerned about privacy or people looking at your screen or anything of that nature, Ledger Live has this and Shapeshift currently does not. So you just wanna keep that in mind. Another key difference is this is a desktop application. So you actually download a DMG file and you mount it and you actually log in via your desktop. This, this is one of the key differences that helps make this secure and it keeps it different than people having to go to a specific web app or URL to type it in. 
And that's one of the downfalls right now. Shapeshift is this, it does have a mobile app for trading, but if you wanna trade using your hardware wallet, keep key like I do, you have to come to beta.shapeshift.com and then sign in and do as I did, which is you know authorize and authenticate your device. And then you can come in here. It allows you to trade. As you see, in order if I do wanna trade, it does require me to uh, log in and use my account, but allows you to trade and swap between multiple different assets. Um, that you can buy and sell and you can authorize it on your device, which is really cool But you don't have to use trade You don't have to trade if you just want to use the hardware wallet and you don't want to trade using the shapeshift engine You can come into your assets uh, In this case, we'll go to Bitcoin and as you can see there's a send receive and then there's also a buy crypto Which is really cheap. I did another video which I'll link above right now and that shows you how to buy crypto using this platform and it's extremely, extremely cheap. So if you wanna use a debit card or a bank account or anything like that, that's probably what I would do and I've tested it out a few times and it's really good. I can add multiple accounts. So if I wanna have multiple uh, Bitcoin wallets or addresses, I can do that. Uh, same thing with any other altcoins that you wanna do. Interface is pretty clean. Uh, shows you some graphs, shows you a transaction history. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff, but I, I like this platform for the ability to a have cheap transaction fees for or no transaction fees up to a certain point when I'm trading my crypto. Two, I like the fact that I can keep all my private keys on my hardware wallet and every time I initiate a trade, I have to authorize it or sign the transaction on my hardware wallet. And as you can see, this is a very clean and easy to use interface. I've done previous videos on this as well, but this is why I use KeepKey for my ETH, you know, for lots of different ERC20 tokens and altcoins. And this is just an overall great platform if I wanna trade. Now, if we go over here to the Ledger Live app, this is a very polished and a very well done uh, desktop application as well. And there is an option here that you can buy and sell. So, you know, if you wanna buy, you know, directly Bitcoin, Ether, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, whatever, you can go through that process and add in your bank account or your debit card or credit card, and you can do that as well. There is a swap feature here where if I had my Ledger Nano X or Ledger Nano S, I would show you how to do it. It does require KYC in order to do this, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that for you here, but this does allow you to swap or trade cryptos directly through your hardware wallet, and you can authorize it on there as well. So this is if you sort of wanna do something similar to what KeepKey allows you to do over here with trading, but in my opinion, this is a much better interface for trading. I don't do any trading. As you can see on the, on the Ledger Live app, I do a ton of trading on the keep key and shapeshift app so huge difference there ledger live does have a lend option that it's partnered with compound this is actually really cool and i haven't tested this out yet but i'm going to shortly so you can lend your die or your usdc or your tether and you can deposit a certain amount that you want to use to give out loans to people and lend and as you can see these are the current apy rates which is a huge return so this is something I'm gonna dabble into in a future video, but just wanna show that this is something really cool that you cannot do on the Shapeshift or KeepKey platform. This is super cool. And then of course there's a manager for you to manager, manage all your addresses, all your apps, that kind of thing. I don't have my device for Ledger in front of me here, so I can't show you that, but pretty straightforward sending, pretty stra straightforward receiving. This one has multiple steps and it does require the hardware device, obviously, uh, in order to initiate and sign a transaction. But in this one, there's multiple clicks, multiple steps. It's, it's more of a drawn out process on the, you know, sending and receiving part on the keep key platform here. It's pretty straightforward. If I wanted to send BTC, uh, here's a receive button, here's a send button. I can scan a QR code or copy and paste in my Bitcoin address that I want to send to. I can click max, I can set a certain amount, and I can choose my own network fee and then continue, and then it'll have me sign on the device. So this is a really cool and straightforward feature with just a few clicks, whereas right now on the Ledger Live, it is going to take multiple steps. And as you're aware, there's multiple reasons why I don't like the Ledger Nano S, the actual hardware wallet itself, just because it's small and the screen is hard to read and you can't see the whole transaction to confirm that you're sending to. But 
That's one of the downfalls of Ledger Live. The overall interface has a lot of options and it's very well done. It's got dark mode, it's very clean. I like how they have it in terms of the features that they offer, in terms of security, in terms of privacy, and all of that stuff, adding multiple accounts. That's very well done. The downfalls that I don't like about this are in order to swap, you have to KYC. You don't have to do that now on Shapeshift because they're now using DEXs or decentralized exchanges, which is extremely nice. You do have options to buy, sell on both platforms. You can obviously send and receive your transactions or any coins that are supported on both platforms. This gives you all the accounts that you can add. Uh, this gives you a portfolio overview as well and your latest transactions and so on. So overall, one of the key features that I really love, just to reiterate, on Ledger Live is this new Lend option, which I will do in a future video because I haven't tested this yet, but it's I've heard good things and this looks like a very straightforward interface and way to do this. Um, so that's what I do like. I don't like the fact that in order to send or receive, you do have to you know use multiple drop downs, click a, tons of buttons and go through multiple uh, click throughs and steps. Whereas over here, it's just super straightforward. Put in the address, choose the amount either in BTC or in USD, choose your network and boom, done. So it's just sort of a more clean, straightforward interface in my opinion on the Shapeshift side um, using the keep key. So overall, it, you know, there's obviously there's pros and cons to both platforms. Overall, as you can probably guess, I, I do prefer using the beta Shapeshift platform for specifically trading on my hardware wallet. So I do prefer this platform and I do use this one very frequently. I don't as often use the Ledger Live, although they've done a very good job in terms of their layout and the features and the options that they have. So just sort of wanted to give you a recap of a comparison of what I like and what I don't like about both platforms. And obviously in this case, I'm gonna to have to say that the beta Shapeshift is a winner, even though there's a few things like the privacy option um, and the dark mode option and just a couple of different little things that I don't like. But overall, I still prefer the beta Shapeshift and I do prefer that over using the Ledger Live. So just wanted to kind of go over that here for you. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about this, please leave it down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer it for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Crypto Renegade out.